Yeah, very good afternoon. And uh, I am Vijay Stanjos Alexander, and uh, I belong to Research and Innovation Group of iGate. And what we are going to talk about uh, over here is uh, leveraging BLE beacons. So how many of you have heard of BLE beacons? How many of you have worked on BLE beacons? Okay, great. So what I will be giving you uh, in this talk is a le I mean, an introduction about uh, BLE beacons and uh, how to uh, do a small coding on uh, BLE beacons using estimate SDK. So what are these beacons? So beacons are some um, a, a device which will advertise itself, say a lighthouse, where it will, it will uh, show you the position like that. So what BLA beacons is, does is that it uh, gives, gives out this Bluetooth, Bluetooth advertising. So where uh, it will constantly uh, say that, okay, I am here or here, and uh, it will identify, means it will advertise a set of stream which uniquely identifies itself. So, and uh, yeah, you can see that it's, it's having a perimeter. So it can be from, uh, we can uh, make it, make it, configure the beacon from a small inches to uh, around up to 70, 70 meters. Okay? So in, in current market, there, are, there is estimate beacons and a lot of beacons like that. So we have worked on estimate beacons and stick and find beacons. I have three beacons right now over here. And uh, here, these are the estimate beacons. And also I have this stick and find beacons. So this, uh, these beacons work on Bluetooth 4.0, which is the BLE. And uh, so we'll see how it works. So uh, in this slide, we are just dissecting this uh, beacon and see what it is. So the outer cover is there, and the battery, and the board. And how does it exactly work? As I told you before. It always advertises itself, saying that okay, I am here, and uh, you can uh, configure it in such a way that you can uh, put it into a, at least a minimum of uh, 20 milliseconds to to 10 seconds. So the, uh, depending on the in interval, the uh, the beacon will emit this uh, advertise this uh, data packet. So if you are increasing the uh, if you are sorry minimizing the interval time, that is 20 millisecond, the drain of the battery will be more. And what it what it will emit is this UUID, which is uh, which will identify itself uniquely. So what what you can do is that you ca you can uh, build your own UUID uh, for your organization, and then there is a major and a minor ID. So the major ID can be used for identifying your say if you are having a company and uh, you are having different floors. So major ID can be used for identifying the floor, or uh, I mean, say if you are if you if you are developing this application for a uh, say total mall, which is having multiple uh, multiple uh, buildings, so the major ID can be configured in such a way that one is for Sajapur, one is for uh, Kemford, like something like that. And then the, there is a minor ID, so the minor ID will uh, tell you okay where exactly uh, means that beacon that will identify the UUID plus the major ID and the minor ID will uniquely identify that beacon. So if you are keeping this beacon in a uh, aisle where uh, you are having uh, coke, so once you are over there, it can push some uh, uh, offer codes to your mobile. So this, uh, this is how we uh, do it. And uh, so what we usually, uh, usually do is that uh, we, we use the estimate SDK, uh, SDK for developing this one, and uh, it will I mean, uh, it, it's al already embedded with a listener, so you can just add the jar file. And uh, once you I install the app, it will uh, add a listener to your mobile device. So once, whenever you are in the proximity of the beacon, it will show that relevant ad or uh, whatever the action you would like to have. Okay. So this is what. Uh, we are just comparing with the older Bluetooth technology and Bluetooth 4.0, that is the BLE. And uh, usually it will be having a maximum range of 50 meter for BLE, but uh, estimate is claiming that it is having around a 70 meter range. So uh, depending upon the uh, advertising time, you can actually have a battery uh, variation. 
So what usually the vendors or the manufacturers say that barely does, I mean, it comes with a one year of uh, continuous life, but in our real time, uh, when, when, when we done, did it in a real time scenario, it's not the case. I'll tell you that later. So over here, uh, we are going to discuss about proximity in retail. Say uh, you are entering a uh, Walmart, and then as soon as you enter, you get a welcome message saying that, hey, welcome, welcome particular user, and uh, welcome to Walmart, and we are having so-and-so offer, or so, anything like that. You, you can greet, your application can greet by this uh, proximity of this beacon. So I will just want, want to say that the beacon is just advertising. Your app should identify whether uh, you're near the beacon or not. And according to that, it should uh, fetch the relevant message from the server. So it's nothing to do with the beacon. The beacon just says that, okay, you have reached the entrance of Walmart, that's it. And, uh, and there is uh, different benefits. Say that if a particular person is, uh, okay, so say that you are having a, a shopping cart app and uh, you have already made saying that, okay, I'm going to buy bread, I'm going to buy butter. And uh, say that you have gone to that aisle. Your application can be intelligent in such a way that Say that um, you have taken bread, so the proximity will detect, say that, say that okay, you have butter this bread. And then you went to the butter section. That means you have taken that butter also. And the next section means uh, you can cross sell the app saying that, okay, we are, uh, uh, we are having an offer in uh, Jam. Why don't you buy this one uh, with so-and-so offer? So th in such a way, you can actually increase the sales by using these BLE beacons. And uh, it's uh, done through this prox proximity sensing. So I hope uh, I'm not going too fast and uh, you all are understanding it. Am I good? Okay. So uh, now the coding part, uh, the BLE uh, becomes, that is estimate, estimate comes with a SDK and uh, you will just add one estimate SDK preview dot jar file to your lib and then a couple of uh, entries in the manifest file. That is to on the Bluetooth, then uh, on the Bluetooth, and also um, you should have BLE on your phone, then only it will work. So for that, you, uh, you have to make it Android particles is true, or else it should not work. And uh, then a service for a, a, a registering a listener. So I think we'll go with the code, live code. Okay, um, I am having some issue with the, this one. Let me check. Okay, we are back. So over here, as I mentioned, you will be having the lips file. This, uh, the, um, this project actually I have downloaded from the web and uh, which is provided by uh, Android, sorry, SGMode. So you just add the lip and then it's, uh, it's giving you an uh, examples over here where it says uh, it's actually First, I will show you the app. So, you can see it, right? This is uh, modified, means I have modified the 
uh, app which is given by ST mode. So I'm just keeping only one beacon over here, say that I'm near to that aisle. So I have configured it in such a way that it will, sh it will show you uh, the tide offer. And say if I'm keeping another, another one nearby it, so it's giving you a Lotto Choco Pie offer. And again, I'm changing it. Sorry. So, so it's uh, showing that all. So uh, you can keep these beacons in these aisles, and uh, once uh, the user uh, reaches the perimeter or the proximity, you can identify that okay, he's in this proximity, and then you can send this ID to the server and fetch the appropriate uh, coupon codes. So that's about the uh, demo, and we will go to the estimate SDK, SDK app, and uh, where it will show you dis the distance demo. So it's right now identifying three uh, beacons which is identified uniquely. And uh, look, I have kept only one beacon over here, so it, it exactly uh, shows that beacon which is nearby. And I'm taking that beacon and also it will, look, it, it has moved. So you can do exact proximity using these beacons. So likewise, um, uh, there's this notify demo. Once you are in the range, it will auto automatically notify. And uh, you can change the beacon's minor ID. Also, when, uh, through the code, you can do a whole lot of things. You can change the UUID, where it, it will uniquely identify your organization. And then you, uh, you can change the uh, major ID, as I told, buildings or floors. And then minor ID to uniquely identify the aisle. So what exactly happens? It means right now I have shown you the uh, retail demo, uh, demo of this app, right? Just somewhere. So uh, for this app, I have I have used only two classes. I'll just show, have a walkthrough of it. For this, I have only two classes. One is the list beacon activity, where it will uh, list all the beacons. So you can see I have added the jar, then uh, I have um, added the necessary entries in the Android manifest file. And over here, you can, uh, here you can edit your, means your, the, uh, you can add your own UUID. And then uh, over here, I'm just getting what is the minor ID of a particular beacon. And according to that, I'm using a switch statement, a statement to get to show the relevant ad. So you your app can be very much intelligent enough so that you can do a lot of stuff, something like that. So that's about the proximity about BLE beacons. And we will go to go back to the slide again. Okay, um, as I told you, uh, apart from this uh, prox proximity, we can do exact positioning of a user. Uh, or we, I mean, say that if you are uh, if you are going outside and uh, say that you are you don't know this place at all, the ML Convention Center. Actually, I didn't know. And uh, what I do is that I use Google Maps to navigate. What about us after entering of th after entering this building? Do you know where exactly was the uh, auditorium? or this conference room? No. And uh, so what we can do is that means Google Maps or GPS or in, nothing will work inside. So what you can do is that you can actually deploy beacons inside this conference room. And you can create an app for your customers. I'm just asking to you people only. And uh, so what we can do is GPS doesn't work. So you can use indoor positioning system. So what exactly is in the, this indoor positioning system is? Uh, here there's a Wi-Fi network. And, uh, and also if I am placing some beacons uh, in these doors and all, and if I do, uh, there's a uh, application called, uh, there's a vendor called Indoors, and if I do uh, 
exact survey of, say, this location, this location, and that location at all. If I do a, a couple of surveys using a laptop and an Android phone, after, I mean, I, I will get some data, data, which I will be storing it as a uh, file, I, I, I'm a file, and then I'll be uh, creating my own app using the Indoors SDK. So what you can do is that you can provide indoor positioning inside a, a building. So that's what uh, means. Uh, this is to overcome uh, the means. Actually, this scenario we have done in in US. It's, uh, it's it was done uh, for a conference event hosted by iGate itself, and uh, we have actually successfully implemented it. And uh, we had some issues also at the, uh, for for that, which I will be uh, talking in the next slide. So what over here for indoor positioning? What we can do is that we'll be having uh, Wi-Fi and then the beacons, and I have said a uh, measurement tool. So Indoors is providing a measurement tool where you can uh, actually get the, uh, if, if you're standing in this position, so you can just get the reading of what is the Wi-Fi signal strength, the beacon signal strength, and what, means what are the major and minor ID of the, that beacon, means which beacon you are getting. In. So those measurements you can take it, and then take that readings to your mobile app, and then you can actually create a indoor positioning uh, application for your mobile phone. So that's what. So the, the name is called Indoors. And uh, we'll just talk about the challenges faced in real time. So I, what exactly all, all, all of them claim is that we will be getting an exact uh, precision of one to two. Uh, I mean, they, they, they are saying that you will be getting an exact precision. But in real time, you'll be getting actually around one to two meters only. And majority means 70 percentage of time. And then the next thing is that um, uh, the time taken to show you exactly on the map. So it will be usually because if you are increasing the beacon's advertising time, say yeah, if you are, that is you are reducing the advertising time to 20 milliseconds, then the accuracy will increase. But what will happen is that the battery discharge will be more. And uh, the, the estimate people are claiming that it will come to one to two, two to year, but in actual scenario, you will get at, uh, minus one to two months. So to improve the accuracy, you have to compromise on the battery strength. And uh, then another issue we have faced is that the structural uh, survey, uh, survey and structural. Uh, we have taken survey of a whole building that is a hotel for this conference, and it took us actually two to three days to survey. And that to, for an exact precision, you have to do a multiple survey. For this room, at least, uh, it has to be at least 20, 20 to 25 surveys so that you, it can exactly pinpoint in your uh, particular location. And that to, to point you in an exact particular location, it will take a five to six seconds delay. And uh, yeah, if you're doing it in a retail scenario, uh, most of the times you have to do it you know, in after working hours and then uh, also, uh, in, during this after working hours, they will be restocking the stuff. So it's another challenge that you can face. And also, say that uh, now, nowadays these retail shops also uh, modif modify the structures. And uh, so these uh, Bluetooth beacons and these Wi-Fi signals are absorbed by our body. So um, say that if I am uh, taking a uh, survey over here, and then uh, that is in my, in my, in my Android app, and then later, they have changed the whole survey over here. Sorry, so the whole structure over here. Again, I have to do a resurvey. Then only it will work because uh, the things over here, which is absorbing, might be changing later. So I have to do a resurvey if there is a structural change. And chances are that because uh, these beacons are newly, uh, they have came new, uh, newly. And uh, these, uh, this can have a battery failure or a hardware failure. You can't depend upon it. And they are not providing any. A warranty or guarantee or anything like that, that it will work. And that's what uh, the challenges. And in the next section, that is power consumption. Yes, as I told you, they claim one to two years. But in uh, actual real life, it is uh, around maximum of three months. That's what we can get. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, ma another major uh, challenge is to get the floor map, uh, map to which, which is to be uploaded to the, your Android application. 
for indoor indoors what they say is that first you need to take a uh, in, in indoors you have to take an indoor map say that for if this, uh, this is a, a, a area which i'm going to do a survey first i have to take the the map of this uh, building inside of this building and then i have to upload it and then i have to make this uh, point survey points onto this map so most of the time this won't be uh, accurate and the another challenge we have faced is that say it says it's a showroom over there actually it's uh, some business center over there and uh, it's totally it, to, it will totally mess up whatever you you're going to do so what you need need to do for indoor positioning is you need to have a um, exact map for doing indoor positioning and yeah these beacons are not uh, uh, right protected so once you are deploying the beacons you have to do a right pro uh, protection so there are uh, apps which, which comes to uh, protect these beacons so that no one else who is aware of this uh, uh, beacon technology can rewrite your major and minor id so that you will be uh, pinpointing the user exactly over there and currently it uh, means estimate sdk is supporting uh, android and ios not for windows and also the indoors is also supporting only android and ios so cross platform only two are supported currently right now which are the major players so that's it about my talk and uh, we will i will show you a small video if time permits demo we have set up in a retail store for this demo we have created a welcome to the ibeacons demo we have set up in a retail store Welcome to the iBeacons demo we have set up in a retail store. For this demo, we have created a custom iPhone application to receive notifications and also we have procured three beacons from Estimote. The Bluetooth beacons are configured with their major and minor identifiers and also placed at strategic locations at the products for which needs promotion. The customer walks into the store and opens his mobile application. As he comes into the close proximity of a beacon, he gets a relevant notification. As the user walks away from the beacon, he will be taken to the home screen. And as he comes to the close proximity of another beacon, the relevant ad that is configured for that beacon will be displayed on his home screen. And if he moves to the other beacon, the relevant ad will be displayed. So this is a re uh, real time scenario which we have deployed in a we have deployed in a retail store in India. And uh, I'll just show you a short video, which we have done it in US. And the accuracy is not that much great, but this is done uh, in an Android phone. This is the indoor positioning.
it doesn't have audio. So uh, here, this is the live view camera, and that is the uh, feed from the mobile. So we are just going uh, means we are going to doing a navigation so that it will can actually take your current location and to navigate you to a conference room or a meeting room, something like that. There's a buffering issue. So I will just uh, show you with the screenshot itself then. Uh, you can see over here, right? Uh, here there's a spot over here that act actually exactly identify you where exactly you are uh, using the Wi-Fi signals and the Bluetooth beacon signal. And uh, then in the next section, it will ask you, uh, means we, we are going to navigate. Say, means, uh, right now in our Google Maps, we have navigation option to navigate to here, right? Like that. Uh, you can, there's a drop down where it's, it will be having a list of meeting rooms. And you can uh, na uh, click on navigate. And uh, yeah, here's the drop down. And then it will uh, uh, navigate. So it will ac actually exactly show you the route over here. Means this is the way. And this is the maps that is being uploaded uh, from, uh, means this is the map which you have got from that hotel. And uh, then it will show you the map. And as you walk along, the uh, green dot also will follow you. So that, that's the indoor positioning that we have done using beacons. That's it. I think uh, with this one, I will wind up my talk. Any doubts? Uh, it costs, actually, uh, in Alibaba, you will get everything uh, cheaper. <laughs> it, will, uh, it starts from $1. But uh, estimate beacons, I think it's uh, for ninety-nine dollars. It you will get only three. Uh, in the beacons, uh, you how do you identify from which direction the person is? There is uh, there is a beacon here. Okay. Okay, and um, there are products uh, all over this side. Mm -hmm. So, uh, can a single beacon uh, give me the offer of uh, three products uh, here? There is. Uh, can a single beacon position me uh, here, and it can it can it know that uh, I am near which product? Actually, uh, if you are keeping a beacon over here, it will be having a radius. Okay, yeah. around you. So once you reach the proximity, it, it will show you the uh, show you the relevant ad. Yeah, um, the proximity will be uh, like uh, won't be too small. So it's a uh, if it's a supermarket. Okay. There could be a lot of product together. Okay. So uh, can a single beacon uh, can be used to uh, give out the offers of more than one product. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. So uh, say uh, that if your um, uh, uh, your minor ID means the bacon's minor ID is in uh, minor ID three, and uh, I have two products which uh, which uh, where, the, where the offer should be pushed. So in your application, you will be saying that if if you are in the proximity of this minor ID three, push two coupons. Yeah. So it, it, that is actually uh, your brilliance of your app. So it's nothing to do with the beacons. I uh, know yeah, it's not yeah. like that. I'm asking. That is, uh, there is uh, one beacon. Okay. Can it know how far I'm standing and where I'm standing? Uh, actually, the beacon can't know it. Your application will be knowing it. Uh, yeah, my application will be having uh, knowing only the radius to that point, right? Yes. So if the beacon is here, okay, okay, and I'm standing here. Ah. Uh. So there's a product here. Okay. And uh, two. Uh, Two meter forward, also there's a product. Okay. So, how can the uh, how can my application know that I am standing near this product or that product? Okay. Uh, that you can do it uh, using something uh, I will show you. Just a minute. Uh, you can can you see something over here? The RSI shows the received signal strength, okay, and M power uh, says what is the factory 
uh, factory strength when you are in one meter distance. Okay, and uh, say this RSSI will be changing um, according to, means to your position. So according to that, you can write an app saying that say if you uh, if the RSSI is um, nearby, then uh, show this ad, this ad, and if the RSSI is greater than or lesser than so and so, it, to show another ad. Uh, but uh, that will, the same RSSI will be. I'm sorry to interrupt, but yeah. can we please take this offline? Okay. 